Hey, I know I promised you this video so long ago and there's a lot of reasons why it didn't get done, but I'm not gonna make excuses. Today is the craft room reveal. One of the reasons it took so long to get this video out to you is I'm a perfectionist and I wanted the room to be absolutely perfect and have everything in the right place and have everything hung on the walls before I showed it to you. And then I thought, wait a minute, wouldn't it be more relatable if I just showed real life? So I'm gonna show you my craft room today exactly as it is today and it is not yet perfect and it may never be perfect and that is okay. For the most part, I can find everything. Almost everything has a place. There's still some things that aren't hung up on the walls and there's still some drawers that are sort of miscellaneous and not everything is 100%, but I think it's important I show you that kind of stuff rather than, you know, the Instagram worthy stuff that everybody always shows. So you're gonna see my craft room as it is right this very moment still a work in progress. If you didn't see my last couple of videos, you can go back and watch those. This is the third video in a three-part series. The first video was building the room. The second video was about setting it up. And now this one is the final reveal. So let's take a look at this room. First up, let's talk about my favorite part of the room, which is my built-in bookshelves. I've always wanted to have built-ins. These are wonderful because they fit so much. I'm just gonna take you shelf by shelf and show you everything I keep on here. First off, isn't that plant cute? Such a cutie plant, that's from Target. I'm gonna have everything linked, even down to like the little plants, whatever I can find to link, I will link for you. And it took me forever to do that, so I appreciate you using my links. So on the top shelf here, I have that little Choose Joy Every Day sign, and that's from my daughter, Kaylee. She made it for me a while back, and it's just such a good message, and it makes me smile when I see it, so I keep it on my shelf. Here's a Happy Planner tote bag, and when I'm not using it, I will show you what I keep in here. Okay, so admittedly, this is not the best solution for this, but I keep all of my extra dividers in here. I had put them on discs just like I did my filler paper. I get a lot of planners as an influencer, so when they're outdated, I don't like to throw them away because they're really cute. I use them for things like photo props or once in a while I'll frame one if it's really pretty or I'll cut them up and use them in spreads. You've probably seen me do that. So I have them separated by classic size and then by um, this one is full of big dividers, so I have two classic and then the big. Obviously, I need to put these ones away still, but I know this is just a temporary solution, but for now, at least I know where they are. Moving down to this shelf, this is where I keep all of my planners that I'm not using for myself, but that I might use for Patreon spreads or other things. These are all current, and when Happy Planner sends me planners, I always like to keep at least one of every single layout so that I have it in case I need it for creating content for the brand or if you guys wanna see something. So these are all organized by layout. I don't have the best solution as far as labeling here, but I've taken sticky notes and I've labeled like vertical, dashboard, see they're popping up. I need to have a better solution here, but dashboard, horizontal, color block, etc. And let me show you what I keep these on. I talked about this in my last video, but these things are perfect and you need to hear it again. This is called an acrylic collator. The brand is Russell and Hazel. It's really, really sturdy and heavy. So it's definitely high quality. I was very impressed when I got these. So basically you just slide your planner in here and then they stand up perfectly on the shelf because I don't know about you, but mine have always flopped all over the place when I try to do them, you know, without any sort of thing to put them in. Each section fits about two. 
Um, of course, if you already have stickers in, in them and stuff and they're thick, it's, it may only fit one, but sometimes I can get three in here if I have a thin one as well. These are perfect. I wish I had known about these years ago. I adore this. Down here on the bottom shelf, we have a couple of things. This is an acrylic organizer by Deflecto. I've had these for years. I used to keep my washi tape in them, but I've since changed that. These are perfect though for pens. So I keep my Arteza Twi markers in here and I have them sorted by color. And I love how you can see through it because I just know where everything is. Over here, I keep a bunch of stickers. This is pretty much where I keep almost all of my Etsy stickers and small shop stickers. This is a product from scrapbook.com. They sent me a bunch of organizational stuff. So thank you, scrapbook.com. It's really helped me level up my organizational game. And I'm so excited about these products. They're like hard cardboard, but they're really sturdy and they're pretty inexpensive compared to other organizers. This is called a stadium organizer. And again, I'm gonna link all of the products for you and I'll be as descriptive as possible with the links so that you know what each thing is. There's different compartments. I have like the smallest sticker sheets here. I also keep my Archer and Olive papers in here and there's a little notepad. I have some Archer and Olive stickers. I have those little cards from our journal that you can color, some more papers. So there's different sections and they fit different things, which I like that because it's like the right size. In the middle here, I have all of my Archer and Olive sticker sheets that I've gotten over the years. Back here, I have a whole bunch of small shop stickers like Martinez Sticker Company and Caitlin Plans, Planet Darby, all that kind of stuff. Here I have, oh, there's a little envelope. Should probably put that up here. Anyway, here's my Archer and Olive stickers that I have. And then back here, a whole bunch of miscellaneous shops. Just a lot of individual sticker sheets go here. I have an EC book there and then some various little papers and stuff like that. I keep my little sticker rolls here too. I just love this little organizer. It tucks away under my shelf. It's perfect for what I needed. And I've been looking for something like that for such a long time because I used to store my Etsy stickers in binders and it started not working for me because I felt like I wasn't looking at them. Okay, let's move up to the top shelf up here. This is where I keep all of my Archer and Olive journals. I know I have a lot of them. <laughs> Most of them are blank. These are also journals that are blank in those boxes. I just kind of liked how the boxes looked with the journals, I don't know. And a couple little candles and stuff. Second shelf here, we have this acrylic organizer. I believe this is also Deflecto, but I will link it for you. Up here, I have a whole bunch of push pins, like decorative ones and just functional ones. The second drawer, I have just a couple of cards, stencils. I don't know why that's in there. <laughs> um, the third drawer is full of fun pens. The fourth drawer is all of my plan thing pens. And so basically this holds, there's Live Love Posh. It just holds all of my pretty decorative pens. I like being able to see them and also just love the, keeping them together in one place. There's my Choose Happy postcard that I framed back in 2018 when I made the Happy Planner Squad. <laughs> couple more Archer and Olive notebooks back there, and then a couple of cutie little plants. This one I got at Target. I think it's really cute, and it makes for such a cute prop in photos. Oh, and if you didn't see my craft room setup video, you might want to check that out. I show you in it how I put this wallpaper behind the shelves, and it's perfect. I love it. I think it's the cutest thing I've ever done. I just, I'm, I'm in love with it. So you can check that out to see how I made that come to life. All right, so let's go down to the last shelf here. All of the non-Happy Planner sticker books go here. In the craft room setup video, I talk about how I make these labels. I love the labels. I think it's such a cute aesthetic and it's really easy to do. And also I can change it up if I need to erase it and change what's on here, I can. These boxes are also from scrapbook.com. They're perfect for organizing the bigger sticker books. So let's just check out what is in one of these. Okay, so here's all of my Live Love Posh sticker books and I have them organized. It starts out with the sticker books that are kind of specialty. It goes into all the seasons and then it goes into the colored ones and then some of the older ones are back there. Here's my Kelova Plan sticker books. 
kind of the same deal. It starts out with specialty, goes into all the seasons. I have Mojo Jojo plans, sticker books back there. They're just organized how they make sense to me. Okay, and then here's Planny Thing, Wrong, Wrong, and Other. So these are all my Planny Thing books. I did the same thing with the tops and Wrong, Wrong. And then it goes into American Crafts. Uh, I put Wrong Wrong's older Happy Planner sticker books in here. I have them in here because it's Wrong Wrong related and I thought that made sense. I have Whimsy Lux back there and On Bean Paper Company. I do have an extra one for when I outgrow these, which is probably going to happen soon. This is where I keep my Wrong Wrong sticker packs. They're loose sticker sheets in a pack. Now I could put them in a binder or something like that, but I find that this works perfectly. This is also another scrapbook.com organizer and it is perfect for sticker sheets or anything kind of small like that. I believe it's six by six and it has these six compartments here that are like that big. So you can use it for paper or stickers, whatever you really need it for, but it's perfect because again, it's like that hard cardboard and it's extremely sturdy. So I really, really love these. And I like that they're plain white because they go pretty much with anything and it's not going to distract from anything else going on in your room. All right, let's go up here to the right. We just have sort of a miscellaneous shelf here. There's my planning with Bumble sign. That's an Arteza letterboard. I really like that. We have a cute little dish right here and this came in an Archer and Olive subscription box. I don't have anything in there right now, but I think it's really cute and it's perfect for if I need to store something I don't know what to do with, I'll probably be putting it in there. Over here is an Easter basket from Target. It was like in the dollar spot and it's just soft and nice and it's where I keep all my discs. I used to keep my discs in a jar, but I started to outgrow the jar. And I was trying to think, what's the easiest way to store these? And for me, the easiest way is just to be able to throw them in a big container and just grab them out when I need them. I know some people organize them by size or by color, but I really don't need to because I can just grab what I need. There's just plenty of room for all the discs in my future. When I have an extra planner that's outdated, what I'll do is pull it apart. I'll take the discs off, I'll take the dividers off and the cover. So I pretty much disassemble it so that I can use the parts for different things. So that's why I have so many discs. Anyway, I really like this solution because it's just super easy to throw the discs in there. And I love easy. Second shelf here, we have all of my mega sticker books. They're not really in any particular order, but I do have the doubles together. I put them over here because this shelf is so sturdy. It definitely can hold so much weight. So these are really heavy. I had them in one of my Alex drawers before, but I felt like it was starting to get too heavy. So whenever I need it, I just walk across the room and get one of these. It's perfect for me. Here's another one of these acrylic organizers by Deflecto. And in here, I keep my clips, little paper clips, gold clips like this, fancier ones, right? I also have the tabbed dividers from the Happy Planner so I can you know, use them if needed. Here's all of my little binder clips, like the decorative ones in the front and then kind of more functional ones toward the back. And then here I have little, just miscellaneous stuff like these little heart clips and little magnets and stuff like that. I have a couple of books here, Plan a Happy Life, The Happy Homebody by Elizabeth Gray which is such a cute book. And one of my patrons gave this to me. It's really, really cute. On the bottom shelf, I have a couple of different planner categories. These here are basically fake planners that I use for the discs. If I have a spread that doesn't really match the discs in my planner, or if I have a spread that has like a ton, say it has a ton of light blue or something, and I want to make it pop, I will put that spread in another planner, in like a fake planner, and then take a picture of it. I do that all the time. Honestly, it's a game changer. So if you're somebody who has a lot of planners, you can just take your spread and pop it into a different planner for a different look. So that's what those are because those are sort of the pretty discs, you know what I mean? Over here is all of my Happy Notes notebooks. Okay, so that is everything that's on these shelves. Now let's look down in the cabinets. I talked about this in my other craft room videos, but these drawers up at the top are fake. 
That was not by choice. I did want drawers, but we had a real problem finding supplies and some miscommunication with my builder, all that kind of stuff. So they're, they're fake, <laughs> but I do have extra cabinet space. So this cabinet is basically paper. These organizers are from Michaels. They are perfect. They fit perfectly in here and they're pretty sturdy and they were fairly easy to put together. So I really do like these a lot. I keep all of my eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12 scrapbook papers here. They're sorted by color and categorized so that I can find things pretty easily. I don't have a ton of loose paper, but I needed a place to put them. So this works perfectly. Over on this side, we have a couple of different things. Believe it or not, these are refrigerator bins that I got at Target and they really work perfectly. They're part of the Target Bright Room organizational line, which is perfect because they're rather inexpensive and I got several things from that line. I really like it. So in this one, this shouldn't be in here. This one is like small, loose scraps of paper. Over here, I have all of my note cards and envelopes, including the blank ones. Down here is all of my Archer and all of notepads. And then I also have my Arteza mixed media pads here, paper pads in general. And then this is another one of those organizers like the one I kept the wrong, wrong stickers in. And this is perfect if you have small papers like that. So I have them organized into color. Up at the top here, I have several things. So this is a little messy. <laughs> This is also from the Target Brightroom line. I love this little tray, it's perfect size. This is where I keep all of my extra covers, whether it be deluxe covers or any extra happy planner covers I have after taking my planners apart. Next to that, I have my contact paper that I use for my chalkboard labels. I have, um, here's some shelf paper and then, what is this? Oh, just some extra contact paper I used to use for YouTube. Over here, I just stack up all of my scrapbook paper pads. It's perfect because these are really sturdy. And also, like I said, this drawer is fake. So I have like all this room up there that I can just stack them up. So that works. And then over here, I have sort of miscellaneous big things that wouldn't fit anywhere else. I have an old magnet board. I have my Cricut thing that's extremely dirty. And I have my light board, um, some paper pads like... Uh, marker paper and stuff like that. I have my stamping pad. I have an old happy planner calendar in case I ever want to cut it up and use parts of it for spreads. All right, let's move over to this cabinet on the right-hand side. This is my art cabinet. Scrapbook.com sent me this really useful rotating organizer. It's perfect for all of my sprays and little um, sponge things, whatever they're called. <laughs> I have my Archer and Olive watercolors there, which I still haven't used. Um, extra Archer and Olive tips for pens, uh, Mod Podge, like that kind of thing, like water spray bottle. So anything kind of small that doesn't fit anywhere else, I've been putting in here, which works nice. Here I have um, some watercolors, just some things that I could stack up there, some uh, pens and stuff like that, or pen boxes maybe. Back there, I have a spirograph I haven't used, and then my long rollers are back there as well. These also came from scrapbook.com. They are perfect for stacking up and just holding different types of art supplies. So I have decorative scissors, string, and organizers. There's like little organizer things in there. All my different kinds of glue, and then paint brushes go down in that one at the bottom. I don't create a lot of art that's not paper crafting related, but I do have, you know, these extra supplies that pretty much a lot of people have and I just needed a place to put them. So this cabinet is like my catch-all for that kind of stuff. All right, so this is the more embarrassing cabinet over here, which is why it's last. <laughs> this is sort of miscellaneous stuff. So there are some extra planners in here, like especially back in the corner there, I have like my recipe planner and specialty ones that I don't pull out very often obviously paper towels and light bulbs, stuff I need in the room, you know. But I also have my Archer and Olive subscription boxes and monthly boxes here, just because I'm not sure yet whether or not to pull them apart or keep them in the boxes. So I sort of just threw them in here for now. I have some frames back there that I still have yet to put pictures in. And then this came from one of my patrons. It is so cute. I'll show you. It has a bumblebee theme. 
This is where I keep all of my colored pencils. It took me so long to organize these by color, but I love having them like this because I know exactly where to find everything and when I put them away, I know exactly where they go. So this has been a game changer for me. I used to just keep them sort of all in a pile in a tin and I really like this organizer. Okay, let's take a look at this shelf over here. These black bins came from Target and they fit perfectly in there. They're nice fabric bins. I have some on the other side of the room. I'll show you what's in there in a minute, but first let's take a look at the planner sections. So here is my filler paper. I used to keep my filler paper in drawers, but I decided finally to bite the bullet and put them all on discs. It took a while because I have a lot of filler paper, but it's totally worth it. I'm so glad I did this because I can find everything. I had to put most of it on expander discs because there was so much paper, but I have it organized by big, by classic, and then here is half sheets. I just took extra covers. I flipped most of them around and just used, you know, pretty basic covers because I was using the expander discs that I had available that didn't match everything. Each of them is organized by the type of paper. So some of them have plain lined or dot grid paper, and then other ones are specialty. Like this one is full of just kind of specialty papers like project paper, hourly paper, and stuff like that. I love being able to categorize it like that because because it just helps me find everything really quickly. This is where I hold all my half sheets. And what I did with this is I took a big Happy Planner cover and I cut it. So you can see it's not perfect, you know what I mean? I just took scissors and cut it down to be bigger than my half sheets and look inside. Listen, it's not gonna look great inside because like I said, I turned it over. I don't really care because this only holds my half sheet, so I'm totally fine with that. So this is the big size one. I guess I ran out of room in my classic because I threw some of those in here as well, but um, it's where I keep, you know, my big half sheets and I just love having a place for them and I love that it's just the right size for it and you don't have to buy anything special. You could use a skinny classic, that would work too, but I didn't have a whole lot of those sitting around, so I just cut up my covers, you know? You can do that if you want. This shelf is where I keep all my planners that I've used already. I get this question all the time. I do keep my planners, at least my catch-all and my journal, because I work so hard on those spreads, and I love flipping through them and looking back at them. I can always look up where I was at any time. You know, somebody says, where were you June 19th? 2020 and I'll know because I'll see it in my planner. So I couldn't imagine throwing them away. Okay, let's take a look at the bins. This is a little bit embarrassing because they're very random at this point. It's basically things I didn't know what to do with that are big. Okay, I've got garbage bags in there. I have um, a video camera mount and then down at the bottom, it gets even a little bit worse. <laughs> I have a lot of, you know, extension cords and things like that and pieces of either lighting or mounts so it's basically equipment in these and i know that's not really the best way to store them but for now it's working for me let's check out my closet shall we this is kind of organized but kind of not organized <laughs> if i'm being honest i have this heavy duty metal shelf and it's perfect for just really functional basic storage on the top shelf, I have some mailers. Second shelf is kind of just random stuff. I have some happy crafts over there. There's an organizer I used to use for my art supplies. Third shelf, we have a whole bunch of Happy Planner sticker storage boxes that I may or may not use in the future, depending. In here is honestly mainly random stuff. I have some Happy Planner wallpaper there, some envelopes, and I have a light. I have a little printer there, just random things but I know what's in there. In that box over there is stuff for my Go Wild table make gifts that I bought last year before I decided not to go to Go Wild, so I'll use them next year. This next shelf is all giveaway stuff. I use this for YouTube giveaways, Patreon giveaways. Friends and family have gone in here and sort of taken things out as well. Also, a certain tier on my Patreon gets the chance to purchase mystery boxes of supplies for the cost of shipping. So I collect all of this stuff until I have so much I don't know what to do with, and then I do that, basically. The next shelf is some new products from Happy Planner, so basically new products that I may use are gonna go there and then 
Anything that I know I'm not gonna use is going in the giveaway pile. This bin is just full of little organizers. I keep outdated planners in here until I can figure out what I want to do with them. And then down at the bottom here, we have shipping supplies. So basically bubble wrap and stuff in there. We have mailers for my Patreon spreads and then some more mailers over there. And then in the corner, we have <laughs> random stuff. Over here, we have an area with a platform that we needed to have for the sump pump. The sump pump is under there, I didn't have a choice. So the original plan was to take photos on top of there. I do that sometimes, but if I'm being honest, the best photo taking, which is so weird, but the best photo taking that happens in this room is on the floor right there in front of the platform. <laughs> so it's very rare that I take photos on the platform unless I'm propping them up against the wall. So sometimes that platform as any surface in our home gets, it gets cluttered with miscellaneous stuff, especially if I get new product from a company, it typically will go there before it goes into the closet. And that's just how it goes. I think we all need those kinds of surfaces just to be able to put stuff temporarily. And that's what that is for me, even though that wasn't really what it was intended for in the beginning. Let's take a closer look, shall we? So I put wallpaper on there, which was so fun. And then I took those Happy Planner clings and put the light in the simple things. I thought that was a really cute way to like decorate that little door. I'll show you what's inside. It's not pretty, okay? Seasonal stuff in that bag and in there. It was actually closed up, but I just opened it because I was using those for fall spreads. So these are seasonal props, basically. I have a light in there and the sump pump. It's a little bit of an extra space if I need to store bigger things. I bought that bed for Bumble from Target because it, the colors kind of match the room. Bumble hates it, but Almond loves this bed. She is in that bed all day long. She hangs with me down here every day, all day. <laughs> Hi. I still didn't put anything on that window and I should at least get out there and clean that mud off of there, but I haven't done it yet because it's a low priority. I know a lot of you suggested putting a cling on that window um, like a, a, one of those window films, totally think that's a wonderful idea. However, I need every last bit of light that I can possibly get. And I've had those clings before and they do filter it out a little bit. So it's a little darker, just slightly, but there's not a lot of light in this room and I need it all. So I'm living with that for now. Up here, we have a bubble gum girl. I love these. Unfortunately, I can't find them anywhere, you guys. I tried. I got the set of three pictures at Home Goods, and they no longer have it, and I can't find it anywhere. So sorry about that, but isn't she cute? I love that. This is a super cute clock I got from Target. It's really big. I love the gold, and I just think it's so classy and pretty, and it fits so nicely in that little corner. This fiddle leaf fig I also got from Target. I think it's perfect and not too much is going to grow down here. I guess I could put some little plants over there by the window, but for the most part, it's pretty dark in here. So I opted for fake plants. So since this is my photo taking station, I have all of my backdrops over here behind that shelf. It's not a perfect solution, but it works for me. I just shove them back behind there. It's not super pretty, but I know exactly where they are and I can just go through and find the one that I need. I talked about this in my craft room setup video, but this storage shelf I got from Target a while back, they do still have it. So I'll link it for you along with these little fabric bins like I have over there. They fit perfectly in this organizer. So I love that so much. I set up this room like a kindergarten classroom. When I was organizing things, I thought, what am I going to do in this area? And since this is my photo taking area, this organizer holds all of my props. So let's take a look. The first bin holds random stuff. So I have this placemat, a little blanket, um, that little basket, some a plant, some beads, like anything that wouldn't go in the other bins. The second bin is full of foliage, so flowers and leaves. And then the third bin holds all of my pen pouches and my planner pouches. And then the last bin holds fabric. So scarves and little bandanas, just any kind of like fabric or cloth goes in here. Up at the top, we have a couple of organizers. I have not labeled these yet, but these also came from scrapbook.com. 
These are the same bins that I have my wrong wrong stickers in that six by six, actually let's measure it. I'm not sure it's six by six. Okay, actually it's seven by seven by seven, not six by six. And I have it over on the shelf, if you remember like this to keep the wrong wrong sticker packs. But for these, I put it upright. So this is such a versatile little organizer. You can use it either way. In the first section here, I have those little mini Happy Planner sticker packs, the little ones. And then I have the bigger ones in the next section because I don't have that many of them, but I have all of those there. And then it goes into those little Happy Planner accessory packs that they used to have. I got rid of some of them. I still have some though. And then we have the washi tape books. Remember those? And those little journaling stickers. I think this is good because it's all categorized and it's all right here for me. So let's take a look at this other one. This one is also mainly Happy Planner. So it's all of those extra sheets that I don't know what to do with. I had some fans send me sheets, but also I had sheets that fell out of sticker books and then the sheets that came separately, like the coloring ones, um, stuff like that. I just used to have them in a little binder, but I think this is just easier for me because it's easier for me to put away. When I set up this room, I made sure that I set it up for success. So what that means is I have ADHD. At the end of the day, when I clean up, I wanna be able to just put it away super easily because I know myself so well. And I know that I am not going to put things away if it's too hard. So I had those little binders and actually I think I still have some of them in a binder, but it's such a great storage solution, but I don't use it because it's too much of a hassle. This is easy. I can just slip it in anywhere along here. They're kind of organized by type, but I can just throw it in here and be able to see everything at a glance. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This over here is my favorite part of the room my sticker collection. I love this storage solution for my stickers. It has been working so well. All of my sticker books are stored in the Happy Planner sticker storage boxes and each box has its own category or categories. This is a Target Cube organizer. And if you want more details on how I set all this up, you can go to my setup video where I show you exactly what I did. I'm probably going to be doing a whole separate video on my sticker collection, but let me just show you how I have these categorized. So basically they are categorized in categories that make sense to me. I have two boxes of new releases. And then up here we have a miscellaneous and specific, which is basically anything that didn't fit in the other categories. And then specific means like wedding, travel, baby, stuff like that. When I was making these categories, it became difficult because there was a lot of miscellaneous and I was trying to figure out how to kind of categorize some of the miscellaneous ones. So I decided to do a box of neutrals and one color. So we have any sticker books that are pretty neutral, right? but we also have monochromatic like indigo, sage, hustle and heart. Down here we have color story, pets and faith. I know that's a weird combo, but it sort of worked out for me because I didn't have enough color story to fill up one of these boxes. I needed to add a couple more categories in there. So we have all my color story sticker books and any pet related ones. And then it goes into faith in the back. Next, we have goals, productivity, budget, work, and then I just added quotes when I moved the stickers around. So any goal-related, budgeting, productivity, quotes, work-type stuff, that kind of thing will go in this box. Next, we have teacher and student. That's self-explanatory. Disney, I'm outgrowing. I am going to have to make a separate Disney box. Now we have two boxes of florals and I also included farmhouse in this as well because a lot of the farmhouse sticker books have florals. So it made sense for me to go from florals right into farmhouse. So I know that one's sticking up. Sometimes I have problems with that. I put Pappy on in there because it has a lot of florals in that sticker book. So any of the florals and yeah, gardening, farmhouse back there. And then I have two boxes of seasonal and that's going to include holidays as well. So those types of things are easy to figure out, right? But then we get into categories that are a little trickier. This one's called essential and fitness and wellness. If I was being really picky, I probably should have put essentials up here with productivity and work. But in my mind, they are sort of a separate category. So what I mean by essentials is basically all the plans, like let's stay home household, essential planning, 
anything with, you know, specific little stickers that's more productive or functional type stickers are going to be here. It goes into fitness, okay, anything fitness related, and then immediately into wellness. Sometimes when I'm filling the boxes, I run out of space in a box and I still have a bunch left over, but I don't have enough of that type of category to fill a separate box. This next box has wellness in it as well. But what I did is go from wellness into girl power. What I mean by girl power sticker books is like be yourself, cool to be kind. I don't know, anything related to this that felt whimsical and like about empowerment and friendship, they all kind of fit together in my mind, so they go here. And then girl power feels encouraging, so I go into the encouraging sticker books. I also included brights and rainbow in there because that made sense to me. So we have anything bright, like really bright sticker books, like color me happy or radiate positivity. And then we get into rainbow, and then I put pastel rainbow in there as well. So this box has wild style jungle, meaning like out for adventure, jungle vibes, those types of sticker books, pastel tropics. And then, like I said, celebrate, meaning the celebrate sticker book, life is a party, anything like birthday related. We go into whimsical, happy illustrations. And then we have marabou design because that feels very whimsical to me. Then we have squad girls and crafty stick babe and stuff like that. The stick babes and the squad girls are people, so they go together. Happy memory keeping because I only had this many of the girls, so I needed something else to put in this box. And then I threw in food and drink as well because I had extra space here. All of my happy planner girl sticker books go in here. And then in the back, we have anything boho related or anything that to me feels stargazer boho-ish. So Zodiac to me felt a little bit like that and Cosmic Watercolor did too, even though they're technically not boho sticker books, but the Free Spirit, all of those go back here. These last two boxes hold my colorful boxes sticker books. All of these are the original colorful boxes. So they're all in the front. And then we get into colorful boxes two and three, and then the monthly ones, colorful shapes, jewel tones. So I have them all sort of together like that. And then here, um, there are more of these boxes, but I also included dates and holidays and the journaling sticker books, anything related to that and alphabet. So that's how I organize it. Again, when I get new sticker books, I do have to do some finagling, but so far, so good. I also have extra space up here for four more boxes because I know I'm gonna need them. For now though, this section up here is my mailing section. So I have my scale here for weighing my packages. And then this little organizer is it's the same one as over there in the cabinet. It was from Target. So these two trays are stackable and I have things to mail. So I keep my patron spreads up there. After I'm done with them, I'll put them in there until they're ready to mail. I also have any giveaway stuff that's small. will go down here until I'm ready to mail it as well. So that's where it goes. I love having a place for that because before I did not and I would lose things or I'd forget to mail them. So now I always know. This is where I look when I go to the post office. Let's take a look at my shelves. We made these shelves and if you want to know exactly how we made them, you can go to that last video. They are eight feet long each and I adore them. So we do have a few more sticker books here. This pile here is really older sticker books that I don't use a lot. I have them up there because I really don't look at them very often, but I didn't want to get rid of them. Here's all of the large Happy Planner sticker books that I have. Next to that, I have my Happy Planner Punch. And then if we go to the right here, I'll show you these three bins. So this one has box stickers in it. These are box stickers by A Pretty Planscape and Proud Sticker Designs. I put the Proud Sticker Designs, most of them into one book like this. I basically just took these and put them on discs and then I can just reach for these whenever I'm looking for a specific color. I have them pretty much organized by color in here. Over here is some pens. I don't know if you remember from my other video, but I do have a pen organizer over here on this side. But up here are the pens that don't fit in that organizer. This is what I used to keep all of my pens in. And of course my pen collection grew so much, but they're these X divider 
organizers. I got the idea originally from Amanda Rachel Lee. She used to use these, so I had gotten some of these from Amazon. But yeah, I will link all of the organizational products for you. Here we have my Tombow dual brush pens. Then next to it, we have my Archer and Olive calligraph pens at the top and the bottom, and then some permanent markers on the sides, some Sharpie and some Bic. In this bin, we have my Arteza brush alcohol markers, also my Arteza real brush pens on the top and bottom. In this one, I have my Arteza alcohol markers that are not brushed, they're just the regular chisel tip ones. I also have a couple of neutral permanent markers in there. And then I just added this up here because I had gotten new pens and I didn't know what to do with them. So I grabbed another one of these uh, Deflecto organizers and I categorized some of my new pens in here. I like having that labeled so that I know what's in there at all times. Let's check out the top shelf. It is very high, so I had to get on a chair. <laughs> okay, so here is my punches and stencils. I got my Happy Planner punches in there and other various stencils and stuff. Here's all my stamping stuff. I don't have that much because I'm not a huge stamper. We have some little decorative plants in the middle there. Over on this side, I have one bin of paper scraps and one of extra pages. This paper scrap bin is full of just, well, scraps. Some of these scraps should really go in the paper cabinet. I just haven't really sorted them yet. I love having these bins so I can just throw things in there because like I said, I'm trying to make it easy on myself. Over here, we have extra pages, and the whole reason for this bin is to make it easy on myself. Because when I combine planners together, I always have these pages left over, and sometimes, to be honest, I don't put them away right away, and then they sit around in piles. So that's a place where I can throw my extra pages until I can figure out what I'm gonna do with them. I got the white bins from Target a while ago, and I bought the chalkboard labels at the container store. I like how it matches everything else in the room. Next to my shelves, I have this cute picture. I got that at Home Goods. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but isn't it cute? I'm gonna go over what's in the drawers in a second, but back here, this is not really ideal, but for some reason, it's working for me. So this is where I keep all of my really tall, stems, you know, faux leaves and stuff like that. See like the big ones like that, that I use for props for photos and things. They're sitting in a, I think it's a planter for my Kia. They just kind of sit back there. And then this little file cabinet, I shoved against it so that they wouldn't go anywhere. This is a little Ikea cabinet as well. This is where I keep basically miscellaneous stuff. Let me show you what's in here. It's not perfect. The first drawer holds <laughs> my tape, extra chargers, that's some memory cards, but I have a piece of foil in here because I know this is so weird. Okay, but my cat Wallace is afraid of foil. It's the only thing that gets him off surfaces. So I pull that out and just kind of wave it around. That gets him off my planner or whatever he's on. I only have to use it in extreme emergencies. The next drawer holds all of my extra Tombow correction tape and my extra Tombow mono adhesive tape goes in here. I also have a little pencil sharpener back there. I think I got these at Home Goods or something, but these are really nice little drawer organizers. The third drawer is, let's see, some Velcro. It has some of the extra labels for my sticker books. There's a pack of pens back there. Like I said, this whole file cabinet's kind of miscellaneous right now, but I know where what's in here. Here's my extra printer ink and labels back there. And then the next drawer, <laughs> oh, paper pad. And then the bottom drawer holds my extra little binders and sheet protectors. And this is what I used to keep my extra stickers in. So I just put them back there. This is a Linmon tabletop from Ikea. And then I have three sets of Alex drawers holding it up. Let me show you what's in these drawers here. Again, I would really like to label these, but haven't gotten to it yet. This first drawer and the next drawer, these hold all of my Mambi Stick stickers, the really big ones from the Happy Planner. Those are the regular stickers, and these are all of my letter stickers here. The third drawer has these really cute and very useful organizers by scrapbook.com. They're broken out into little little cubbies. This is where I keep my Micronotes notebooks. These little sticker boxes from the washi tape shop go in here. I have my pins here. This is an extra big washi that wouldn't fit anywhere else. Over here, I have some of these little 
packs of stickers from the washi tape shop. I have some old Happy Planner pins here. Here's where I keep my tiny sticker books. I actually de-stashed a lot of this stuff, so that's all I have left. These are from the washi tape shop. They're little boxes of stickers. They fit perfectly in there. And then I have some more sections open for whenever I get something else that I don't know what to do with. This next drawer holds all of my accessory books from the Happy Planner. They fit perfectly in here. Always forget to use these. The bottom drawer holds these that I made. This one is for like those dashboard stickers from the Happy Planner. And then this one, oh, that's right. That's why I don't have that many tiny sticker books because I had taken them out and put them in this binder and I love this solution. I actually have a video on this. I'll be honest, I keep forgetting this exists. <laughs> so that's why it's still really, really full. Let's go up to the next drawer unit here. In the top drawer, I have my Fiskars paper trimmer and rulers and that happy planner thingy that helps me put the discs on. I love that this drawer only has a couple of things in it because I know exactly where these are. I can just pull this out whenever I need it and it's right next to my planning desk, so it is perfect. Here I have my sticker paper, again, in its own drawer. I kind of like that. The third drawer holds my die cut stickers, other loose stickers. This is like stuff from a journaling kit that I got on Amazon. So any sort of loose stickers go in here. This drawer is very unorganized because I just took some things off my washi tape wall and decided I was gonna store them in here. So this is a little unorganized. This here is a little box that one of my Archer and Olive journals came in. So I just use that as storage and it holds my um, pocket folders, my dashboards. I don't have that many of them because I really don't use them that much. And then I have my sticker planning guides and those pocket pages go there. In the back, we have the Create Your Own Sticker Book Kit. I do need to organize these, but these are my Girl Boss Anna tapes, the overlay tapes, and I love them so much, but they were taking up my washi tape wall and I decided they weren't really washi tape. <laughs> That's my rule. I also have some extra tapes in here that were doubles because I was trying to make room over there. And then I have these um, petal, little petal washi things that I also decided, hey, they're not really washi, only because I was trying to cheat and give myself more room over there. In the last drawer, I have this binder that has a bunch of Etsy shop stickers that I have not put on the other side of the room yet. I have some extension packs and yeah, that's it. So over on this side next to my chair, this is like this because my chair keeps rubbing it, I know. This is more personal stuff. I'll just give you a little peek. So that is like my checkbook, tape, some little random, there's like lip gloss there, stuff like that that's more personal. This one is my shipping labels because the printer is right there so I can just grab them and use them. This next drawer holds all of my printer paper that is not inkjet. My laser printer paper goes here. I use this for lettering practice because it's very smooth and it's good for brush lettering. So that's what this is for. And then on the bottom, it's just empty because I have files that are under my desk that I have to take care of and put in here. I just have not gotten around to it yet. Next to my stickers, I have a couple of things. I have this really cute wooden tissue box holder. I got that on Amazon and I decorated it with Happy Planner stickers. Look the modern meow. <laughs> there is a Happy Planner dry erase board. It's from the Align collection. That's where I keep my reminder for all my Patreon tasks. I like having it not hung on the wall so that I can just pull it over and write on it on my desk. So that's why that's not hung up. Down here is a little inbox that I have for just miscellaneous papers and notes and mail and stuff like that. This one is so cute. I got it on Amazon. Up here I have my Happy Planner wall calendar and it's hung up by this little cactus that was given to me by a fan. I love that. Sometimes I write down my videos, but I also like just having it for product release dates and stuff like that. Next to my calendar is a cute little lamp I got on Amazon. Lighting is really important to me and it really affects my mood. So I wanted to make sure I had a variety of lamps in this room as well as the overhead lights. So let me show you the other lamps that I bought for this room. This one is over here next to my closet and this is what it looks like. I got this at Target. Let me turn it on for you. 
I think it's just so cute and it just puts me in a better mood. I also got this one at Target and I just think it's so fun and different and it matches the gold theme of the room. Over here is my computer area. I have this corner tabletop from Ikea. Again, it's the Lin Mon line. This is where I do all of my video editing. I also got this monitor stand from Amazon and it's three parts and you can move this, you know, however you want it, which I like. This is a really cute mouse pad slash desktop cover or something. I forget what it's called. I got it from my FabFitFun box. I think it's really fun and it matches kind of the vibe to the room. I'll try to find it for you and link it. Obviously it's like really big. I have this Logitech keyboard, which is actually like a blush pink. I know it doesn't really look like it on camera, but it is, it's really cute. I like my little area over here. Here's where things get real. If you watched my last video, you know I bought this ledge off Etsy for my planners to sit on. Oh my gosh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I haven't put it up yet, even for this video. That's what I meant in the beginning when I said, listen, I'm just gonna be real with you guys. That ledge is going to go here. I keep my planners here already without it even being hung up on the wall. Oh my gosh, I'm just so embarrassed. I didn't hang it yet, but you know what? Real life, what can I say? There's also a picture that needs to go there. One of the other bubblegum girls. She's not hung up yet. <sighs> Here's one of those happy planner desk pads that have like the days of the week. I use this sometimes for Patreon stuff or for videos. This is my coffee cup warmer because I am down in the basement and there's no microwave down here and I like to keep my coffee warm. Right next to my desk is my printer table. This is an old Pottery Barn table. I keep my printer paper under there. Right above that is my pen holder and this is from Stampin' Storage. I love this thing. I took the Happy Planner wallpaper and I put it around the outside of it. It is the cutest little thing and it holds so many pens. Most of it is my Arturnal of Acrylograph pens, but I also have Mild Liners and Copic markers, Crayola Super Tips. There are so many different kinds of pens that fit in here and some of them hang out a little bit, but honestly, it's perfect. I would love to get another one. They're a little bit pricey. I am an affiliate and I'll link that for you because I really, really like it. This here is my washi wall. My dad built this for me. It is beautiful. It's not even perfectly organized because I have too much washi tape now and I've been kind of shoving it in rather than getting rid of it like I said I was going to. Um, it's supposed to be one in, one out. Anyway, I'm just gonna show it to you as is. As we can see, it's a little bit more messy than it was when I filmed the setup video, but that's okay because again, real life. I never intended to store anything on the top, but oh my gosh, I'm running out of room. I'm gonna do a whole other video on my washi tape collection. But for now, what I just wanna show you is kind of how I have it organized a little bit. The top there is some of the wider washi tapes. We get into ones that are sort of seasonal down here. And then some of these are washi tape stickers, some sparkly ones over there. We have some stripey guys, and then it gets to a lot of the washi tape shop, washi tape that they sent to me, all the celestial ones, stuff like that. These are all Archer and Olive and then Happy Planner. I try to separate them by brand because it's easier for me when I have to provide links in my videos. This shelf is all my grid washi tape and some specialty ones over there. We have striped washi here. It goes into some fancier ones and then black and whites. Then some more stripes down there, but we also have a lot of solid color washi here. And then some sparkly guys, lots of skinny washi tape. And then at the bottom I have ombre ones, some plaid, and then miscellaneous ones sort of sorted by color. This is a maple washi tape shelf. My dad is not taking waters. <laughs> Each shelf is angled very slightly so that the washi tapes don't typically fall out. And he did such a great job. It's like a piece of art for me that's very special to me because my dad made it and I will always cherish it. Underneath my washi wall, we have this cute little plant from Target. Next to it, I have a little bin that was gifted to me by one of my patrons from the brand 31. And it says PWB and look, Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There's like even a little X-Acto knife there. I love it so much. Do you see those rolls of washi? Remember how we talked about I need easy? I keep this here 
under my washi wall because I know myself and I know that I am not going to put my washi tape away immediately and then it's gonna sit around in piles. So what I use this for is putting my washi tape in before it goes onto my wall. I know that might seem silly, but it works for me and it keeps my room neater. This cabinet was gifted to me by the company DeVace. So in here is just basically office supplies. I have some pens in there some permanent markers, tape and staples and stuff like that, more of that kind of stuff. And then the bottom one is like phone cases. This cabinet part here is basically, all right, let's just say it's a mix of things. Um, the bigger things that don't fit anywhere else, but I know what's in there. There's my selfie printer, my old keyboard, this I still have to hang up, we're being real here, okay? An old laptop and some office supplies that were a little bit bigger. So this is like my office supply storage. We obviously need to still work on cord management. That was one of my goals before I made this video. And then I thought, let's just show it. I don't know if you remember from my setup video, but I used to have an Ikea desk that was really light and it would shake and it was driving me nuts. So I took so long finding this desk. This desk is from Branch Furniture and it's super sturdy. I bought one that was gray and you can see right here the difference between this and this because this is contact paper. I bought it gray because I thought it'd be a good background for my videos. So what I did was buy separate contact paper because unfortunately this was too shiny. It was making a glare in my videos, so I decided to cover it anyway. And let me tell you, it took me so long to find that desk, and I was kind of bummed out about that. But it's really, really sturdy, and it's basic enough. I really like it. At some point, I'm going to do an updated video on my YouTube setup, but for now, I'll just show you real quick. So I have one ring light in the middle, two key lights on the side and they hook to the desk so they're not in the way. I used to have big lights, but I bought those, they're much better. And then in the middle, I have a C-stand. It's very sturdy, it's sturdy enough to hold this light and a mount and all of that and I can move it around. But I need a new bar here because it's kind of sticking out in the middle of the room, not good. Here's my mic, it's a blue Yeti that attaches to my desk as well. For now, this all works perfectly. This desk has power inside here, which is nice. And then it has one cord that attaches to the desk that I plugged in to the ceiling. <laughs> when we built this room, we had them put an outlet in the ceiling just in case I needed it. And I'm really glad we did that. It's not the prettiest, but I don't have to trip on it on the floor anymore, which is nice. On top of my desk, I just have a few things. This is a cute little trash can for some paper scraps and stuff I use sometimes and I decorated it, look. And a cute little plant, again, from Target. This is right now where I keep all of my block pads. And then here is a rotating thingy from Michaels. This thing holds a lot. I have my crop dial and then I have like all of my regular black pens, my white pens back there, my checklist stencils, my undo glasses, cause I'm blind. <laughs> and then some miscellaneous stuff there. And we have scissors and tweezers here. And then we have all of my Mujis and regular pens and pencils back there. And then in the middle, I usually keep a ruler, my Bumble stickers, some hand lotion and stuff like that. And then my Exactos, I usually keep just right on top of that, which is nice. And then in the drawers, we have erasers, which go underneath the pencils. My Tombow Mono Adhesive Tape, which lives below this glue pen. <laughs> Makes sense in my brain. And then my Tombow correction tape in this one, which lives down below the pens. I don't know, it all makes sense to me. I keep little detailed scissors in this. I made it at like paint and pottery. <laughs> it's kind of cute. And then here we have a little desk vacuum that Allie bought for me. I love this thing. It just picks up all sorts of cat hair and stuff. Yeah, it's really good. So here's a different angle. You can see why I did it this way. At least I think you can. My plan originally was to be able to have two desks to slide back and forth with my chair. It works great. I bring that white chair over and film here, and then I can roll around over to here and get my stickers or get what's in those drawers there and then roll back. So everything is right here within reach, and that really helps me when I'm making my videos. 
So that's pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed my little tour. If you have any questions about my room, you know, feel free to leave a comment below and I will try to get to everyone's questions if I can. Putting this room together has been really fun for me, but also a lot of work. So it takes a long time to get a room to be exactly what you want it to be. I hope you got some ideas from this video. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.